Okay, now I'm gonna take you through loading the pistol one-handed. Theory is here, in this case, my weak hand, my support hand, in this case, my left hand is out of action. So I'm gonna go ahead and tuck it behind in my belt, and that forces me to do everything with my right hand. All right, so in this case, I've already locked the slide to the rear, guns run dry. All right, so I'm gonna drop the old magazine, and a good option for you, if you have it available, obviously, is go ahead and reholster. I come around, I grab my new mag, I go ahead and seat it in the magazine well, and then bring the gun up, release the slide, back on target, bang. Okay, that's the way it goes in a perfect world. Let me show you a little variation on that, all right? So, go ahead and get set up for it again. We're gonna talk about something happens and you accidentally bump the slide release and you send the slide forward on an empty chamber. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So, go ahead and tuck my hand behind my belt, up on target, gun runs dry. Drop the empty mag. Okay, now, unfortunately, I bumped it, and now the slide goes forward on an empty chamber. Go ahead and seat the mag gun back in the holster. Come in with your magazine. Make sure it's seated. You can also come up to make sure bang it on your knee. All right? Now, I want to rack around in the chamber, in this case, using my aim point acro, or you can use your iron sights. I come up on my belt, and pointing away from my body, I want to rack the slide and put a round in the chamber, and I'm back up on target to shoot. All right, that's something that you need to practice with dummy rounds at home versus you ever doing it on live fire on the range. Make sure you get the sequence down with dummy rounds. All right, now I'm going to point the other direction and set it up and do it for you from that direction. All right, all right, gang, tuck my hand behind my belt. So I come up on target, gun runs dry, finger straight muzzle wear. I drop the magazine, reholster, come over with my new mag, put it in my magazine well, back up on target, drop the slide release with my strong hand thumb, back on target, bang. All right, let me take you through the alternate version where the slide goes forward in an empty chamber. Okay, tuck my hand in my belt. Come up on target, gun runs dry. Finger straight, muzzle wear. Drop the magazine. Okay, unfortunately, the slide goes forward in an empty chamber. Reholster. Come over with my magazine. Make sure it's fully seated. If you need to, bang it on your knee. Then I come over here and I'm going to rack the acro, in this case, my aim point acro against my belt. Chamber around. Back on target, bang. Once again, like I said, dry fire this at home with dummy rounds before you ever try it on the range with live fire. Once you get the sequence down, at first it's going to seem real awkward, but once you practice it, it's pretty straightforward. And remember, I got a good buddy I was in Delta with named Pete Harbeck who said, you know what, you want to practice this first on the range or in this case at home before you have to do it at night, live fire in the rain. Remember that rule of thumb because it applies to all this stuff. Enjoy it. I hope you learned something from it. Stay safe.